it's not just a popular science class. And it's not just a social theory class on the sciences. It's a robust conversation that tries to g stimulate students to try to create more interesting stories about who we are and how we exist in the universe. We are living in a society where biology is no longer contained just in the sciences. The sciences are now a very powerful source of ideas for how we think about our, how our bodies operate, how we manipulate them in time and space, how we make regulations about them. The conversations that need to have happen are, are these the types of lives that we want to be living? What are the standards that we bring to bear when we talk about the types of futures that we want to create? More and more, we have a lot of people who has a little bit of training in the sciences who for some reason leave the sciences and go to the humanities. Or there are people who have trained initially in the humanities who, for instance, want to go to med school now. And it's these interesting students who've had to bridge the divide between science, art, and the humanities in their lives that I think when they find a place where they can have these types of conversations, it utterly transforms them. I want every lecture that I give to somehow change how someone's thinking. I started this off as a quirky little class uh, to, to, that might appeal to only a few people. And what I find now is it's drawing from people all over campus. It has one of the most diverse student groups that I've ever encountered. Some students really want to just plow through and do their work and specialize in what they're doing. And this class may not be for them. But the ones who have just a little bit of fascination about the wider issues around science or about how our bodies and biomedical knowledge impact how we think about the humanities, they just have a little bit of this. No matter what the age, it's going to appeal to them.